A very good morning to you all, my dear student. Myself Harshika Jaiswal, and today I'm here with a new topic, and that is fraction. So let us study that what is fraction and what are the uses of fraction. So here is the definition of fraction. A fraction, a number of the form a by b, where a and b are the natural number, are known as fraction. Like as a upon b, it represent fraction where a is known as numerator and b is known as denominator also we can learn it by the trick d stand d is also d for down so the term which is uh, noted down that is denominator same as the upper one will be the numerator for example 3 upon 7 3 upon 7 is a fraction and in this fraction, 3 is numerator and 7 is denominator. Okay, uh, so let us study the various types of fraction. What are the different types of fraction? Uh, as we have seen 3 upon 7, so how we will classify this, that this kind of fraction which be, uh, will belongs to which kind of fraction. So here is the first one, the decimal fraction, decimal fraction, yes. A fraction whose denominator is any of the number that should be 10, 100, 1000 or etc and etc is called as decimal fraction. It means denominator should be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 etc. Uh, next one is the vulgar fraction. So uh, in this a fraction whose denominator is a whole number other than 10, 100 and 1000. It means it is just opposite to the decimal fraction and in the vulgar fraction there should not be the denominator should not be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 etc and etc. So as we have already discussed about the decimal fraction and the vulgar fraction, now it's time to discuss about the proper fraction, improper fraction, also the mixed fraction. So let us study that what is proper fraction. As it is clear from the word proper, a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. It means numerator should be less than the denominator. When you will see such kind of fraction, it means it is the proper fraction. Okay, now the improper fraction. In the improper fraction, a fraction whose numerator is more than the denominator. It means numerator should be greater or more than the denominator. It is just opposite to the proper fraction. If you uh, clear the concept of proper fraction, it is just the reverse in the improper. Uh, what happens in the proper? The numerator is less than the denominator and in the improper, the numerator is more than the denominator. Now let us study that what is mixed fraction. In a mixed fraction, a number of a number which can be expressed as the sum of a natural number and a is known uh, and a is proper fraction. For example, one whole three upon four, seven whole nine upon thirteen, four whole five upon seven. If you will see the fraction in such kind of, it means this represent the mixed fraction. Irreducible fraction. A fraction a by b is said to be irreducible or in Lewis term if the HCF of a and b is 1. If the HCF of a and b is not 1 then it is called reducible fraction. So let us understand this term with the help of an example. Suppose we have to convert 12 upon 16 in irreducible form. So what we have to do? We have to take the LCM of 12 and 16 and the 12 of 16 LCF is 4. So uh, let's see 12 upon 16 we have to divide these two terms with 12 and 16 we have to divide this with 4 okay so 12 divided by 4 and 16 divided by 4. 
is equals to when we will divide 12 from 4 we will get 3 and when we will divide 16 from 4 we will get 4 so 3 by 4 is the reducible fraction sorry irreducible fraction and 12 upon 16 is reducible fraction and because it is the lowest term so this is the okay so let's discuss that how we will compare between two fraction suppose a by b and c by d b two given fractions so how we will compare between these fraction that which one is greater which one is smaller and which one is equals to each other so uh, first a upon b is greater than c upon d so what we have to do in this we have to uh, cross multiply um, a multiply by d and b so uh, when we will multiply a into d the result will be ad and when we will multiply b into c the result will be bc so ad is greater than bc again for the second a upon b is equals to c upon d so uh, when we we'll multi uh, cross multiply so a is multiplied by d ad and b is multiplied by c so result will be bc and the third one a upon b is smaller than c upon d so same will do cross multiply and the result will be ad is smaller than bc that's all for today. The rest of the topic we'll discuss tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.